Well done, Dana, my sincere congratulations. Well done, well done. I think we should thank our dean. I now call Victorian, Dr. Marlon Reed, Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery with Honors, and he will deliver the valedictory address. Dr. Reed. Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, Pro Vice Chancellors and Principals. Officers of the University, members of the Diplomatic Corps, members of the academic staff, distinguished alumni, parents, friends, and fellow graduates, good evening. In the words of a popular reggae singer, my dream, my dream, my dream, my dream, my dream, look at me now, Yui. Class of 2016, look at me now. Look at you now. Everybody, look at us now. When we entered the University of the West Indies, we were asked to look to the future to look at the bigger picture. Now that we have collected our degrees, the next time someone tells you to look at the bigger picture, stop, take a look. You are the bigger picture. This, my fellow graduates, is the bigger picture. Assembled here today are physicians, dentists, nurses, basic medical scientists, physiotherapists, and radiographers who the UE has trained to be among the best in the world. From its inception in 1948, the University of the West Indies saw this bigger picture. The Faculty of Medical Sciences, a mecca of extraordinary professionals, saw this bigger picture. However, to us as freshers, this picture was a 1,000-piece jigsaw puzzle with many missing pieces. In order to acquire the pieces, we had to go on a scavenger hunt. And trust me, the Mona campus was not very small. Nonetheless, the University of the West Indies provided us with all the pieces we needed to assemble the puzzle that made this bigger picture. Whether it was acquiring knowledge in lecture rooms or discovering various extracurricular and sporting activities down at the Mona Bowl, the university gave us the platform to develop all our talents. Furthermore, the Mona campus was a hub for cultural exchanges, providing us with opportunities to engage with diverse cultures and build networks that help us through to this day. The training we received at the university will take us anywhere in the world. However, it was a rough journey. For the physicians, dentists, nurses, radiographers, and physical therapists, our programs had a preclinical and a clinical phase while the basic medical scientists had labs and labs and more labs. <laughs> During our first year, most of us reveled in the festivities the university had to offer, forgetful at times of our number one priority, our academic pursuits. Throughout the semesters that followed, we searched to find ourselves, and when we came up short, I am sure we often heard the familiar voice of an anatomy tutor saying, look hard, man, look hard. At the end of each semester, we had exams. Let me tell you something, parents and distinguished guests. Students do perform miracles. At the end of every semester, miracles happened in our faculty. A semester's worth of work has been done in one night.
countless times we interpreted the word impossible to mean I'm possible when we reviewed a 100 slide lecture in one minute. Each time we procrastinated, we said that we would not do so again. But there we were at the next examination period, having to pull another all-nighter to ensure we were fully prepared. Our final year went by very quickly. If final year represented Jamaica in the 2016 Rio Olympics, 100 meter men's final, Usain Bolt would not have gotten his triple triple. <laughs> However, whatever it was that we had to complete, we now know that we have received the hands-on training that made us clinically proficient. Now, student nurses are registered nurses. Student dentists are preparing to be licensed. Physiotherapists are ready to rehabilitate patients. Physicians are now interns. And our, and our student medical scientists are preparing for their post-graduation careers or future studies. Indeed, some of us are already in the working world and the UA brand is already being seen in the quality of our work. At the University of the West Indies, we have all become one. We were exposed to different backgrounds and cultures, each of which exposed us to the global village that we now live in. I mean, how else would I know that the best bacon shark is sold at the Maracas Beach? How else would I know that Crop Over was in Barbados or that Vinci Mass was in St. Vincent? I would further offer that our class motto should be, out of many one programs, we are one health team, we are one. By now, you would have realized that the Faculty of Medical Sciences is not synonymous with physicians or nurses. On the contrary, it is a true representation of healthcare professionals working together to provide care for the nation as we are all a part of one health team. Through my own post you experience, though limited, I have come to acknowledge that nurses are in charge of the wards. <laughs> Pharmacologists supply doctors with their arsenal of medications. Radiographers play a pertinent role in diagnosis with their various imaging modalities. Physiotherapists play a pivotal role in prognosis with, of patients and their return to their activities of daily living. Last but not least, when the staff is post-call and toothbrushes have been forgotten and morning bread permeates the hospital, dentists will be there to ensure good oral hygiene. Like the ring road, the University of the West Indies has all that is needed to make an individual rounded. Each student was given the opportunity to find his or her niche outside of their chosen program, be it in sports, extracurricular activities, or philanthropic clubs. Moreover, within this class are graduates who serve on the Guild of Students, a proven ground for future politicians. We all know the value of networking. The UE created an environment that fostered interconnections that will serve all of us as budding professionals in all walks of life. Pelicans, no, pelicans. Within this class, each of us found our own habitat. Within our habitat, we had friends and family who motivated us every step of the way. Friends and family who provided a voice of sanity when all we wanted to do was to quit school. Friends and family who held our hands through the birthing process towards our degree and urge us to push past the burn even when we were maternally exhausted. <laughs> Friends and family whom we cried tears of joy with when we finally heard that we made the graduating list. <laughs> Friends and family who are now sitting with us today are watching on UE TV on this long promised day. Friends and family who we must tell that we love them.
I would like to say thanks to the University of the West Indies for providing us with all the pieces needed to assemble the puzzle. Congratulations, class of 2016. We have solved the puzzle, and now we can see the bigger picture. From this point onward, I urge you to continue to make a difference in the life of your patients. Leave both memories and monuments. Let your work echo throughout history. Class of 2016, be exceptional so that if opportunity knocks and you are not there, opportunity will wait. Our dream is now our reality. Let us leave here knowing that we have made our parents, family, friends, loved ones, and this university proud. Thank you.